All right, guys, so welcome to our monthly Getting Started Right call. And first and foremost, I want to say thank you so much for joining Team Perseverance or being part of Team Perseverance, maybe the, your larger grandparent team for, for many of you. But welcome to the Getting Started Right call that we do once a month on the third Tuesday. And I'm super excited about this because this is really a call to get into and get into kind of a mindset thing to kind of lay the foundation for the business. Not as much as the details, specifics of what you want to do, what you would gain from a 30-day coach basics training, which we run each and every month. So that's ultimately where you want to plug in. But this is kind of like getting started right and what we want to discuss and what we want to go over. So I want to start off, guys, and talk about um, – in this business, it's very, very important that you start off out of the gate and have a very, very um, strong mindset. And what I mean by that um, is that 80% of this business is mindset and about 20% of it is the skills that you, that you actually need to get. You have to have a big picture mindset. And the first question that we often get um, is how do I build this business? How do I get to build this business? And most often the most common one, guys, is how do I build this to a six-figure income? That's a question that we hear frequently from people that say, you know, I want to make this a full-time income, working part-time. How do I build this to a six-figure income? And the big picture mindset is, is this. is basically it comes down to you finding, and you want to write this down, two to three really good leaders. Okay, because what we have found in this business is that when you yourself say build yourself to say diamond and beyond a diamond rank, which we're not getting into technicality, you can learn all that in coach basics. But if you find two to three other people to really start wanting to work and build this business, that's kind of when the business really starts taking off when you sponsor two to three people that really start working the business. And that's when we start seeing people start really approaching and get to the six figure land. So the second question we all often get, guys, is how do I do this? Like, where do I find these two to three good leaders? And I'm here to tell you guys that most of the two to three leaders that you're going to find really need to be watching you for a while, meaning they have to be seeing you do this journey on social media for a little while because you're not going to have this, this leader go-getter person that really is ready to commit and go all in with somebody they don't know if that coach is all in, meaning you. So these two to three people, you know, for a while, because they're smart, want to see if you're all, all in. So the most important point I want to tell you guys right now so far in this call is the importance of consistency that you have to have in this business, and that's consistency. Because these two to three people are watching you and they're watching every step of the way. They may not be commenting on any of your posts on social media. They may not be liking your posts. Most often they're not doing either for a very long time, but they're watching you. And if you stop because you let life get in the way, you're going to lose credibility. And I'm here to tell you that Kristen and I, since we have built this to a very good income for us, I have pretty much we have been through everything possible in life from whether the minutia of kids activities running around like tonight, my daughter's ice hockey practice. I coach my daughter's softball team as the head coach to losing, you know, Kristen's mom passing away in a matter of only a couple of months. And I say that because I want to let you go, let you know that life is going to strip you to the core and that you need to stay consistent and share on social media how, in fact, even in the most rough times, that you're able to still commit and take care of your health and inspire others because that's what people will relate to is that when you're showing that you're for real, when you don't let life get in the way. And I like to kind of compare it to this. And it's a story that I heard and I like to share it back. And it's kind of like, do you remember in the days when you were a kid and you used to try to run up the down, you tried to run up the down escalator, right? Like you're in a department store, you're at Macy's or something, and there's those escalators, the stairs are going down, and you try to run up the escalator, right? And in the beginning, like for you to run and get like halfway, you're having to put in a lot of effort, right? And eventually to get to like the top, right before you step off to the landing, 
you are running as hard as you can. You're gaining momentum. You're gaining momentum. You're slowly creeping to the top. And then right when you get to the top, if you were to stop within a matter of a second, you're at the bottom. And that's kind of this business when it comes to consistency. You will gain momentum. You may not realize the momentum you've gained, but you are just at that point where that two to three good leaders or somebody's going to message you that wants to be in our challenge group or learn more about coaching, and you stop for whatever it is in your life, and you immediately will lose momentum because with this business, starting back over takes twice as much work. So the key is, is that you want to be here and be consistent a year from now, no matter what, okay? And that's where you're going to find most often your two to three good leaders is the people that are watching you being consistent and you being consistent no matter what. So the next question that we often get is that what are these, what are these coaches doing that are getting to the top of the escalator? What are these coaches doing that they're consistent no matter what? And there's two big points. And the first point, guys, is they have a strong why. So my question to you is, what is your why? Why are you doing what you're doing? And I want you to make a why list after this call. Your why list, it could be something as small or as big as you want. Your why list may just say, you know what, I, I'd love to be able to take my, my husband or wife out to the movies once a week. Write it, then you want to write it down. Your why may be on the other end and saying, you know what, I want to bring my spouse home or you know, I want to create a six-figure income to retire from my, my full-time job. You know, for me, at, at one point, it was working hard to bring Kristen to walk away from her six-figure job. That's a big why. You know, but what is your why list? Write everything down because you have to have a strong why. Because, guys, this is the thing. At a certain point in life, you're going to hit something that's a lot tougher than you. And if your driving force is just about you, you're not going to be able to overcome it. That's what it comes down to. Your why list has to be bigger than you, okay? And a lot of times, it's not the money. It's what the money can do for you. So if you're like, if I only can make 300 extra dollars a month, yes, it's not the 300 that's your why. It's what is that 300 going to do for you? Maybe it's, you know, you're struggling to pay your credit card bills. Maybe your student loans. Maybe it's, you know, your car payment. You know, it's not what the money is or the, the physical money, the materialistic money. It's what the money can do for you. So you want to have a why list and you want to have a very strong why because life is going to strip you to the core. And I know for Kristen, when her mom was very sick, it was a wake-up call for how important our health was and how important it was for her not to miss things with our kids and how important it was for her to work even harder and for her and I to work even harder. Okay, so your why list, no matter how small, how big, I want you to write it down after this call, come up with your why list, all right? This is something very easy to do, but it's also very easy not to do, all right? But, you know, ideas without action are a bunch of garbage. So you got to take your ideas, your why, and you need to write it down. The second thing, guys, that they have is they have strong belief, okay? They have very, very strong belief. So if I was to go back right now, and we talked about the big picture mindset, right? And one of the and one what are the successful coaches doing, right? They're to find the two or three good leaders. They're consistent, right? We have to be consistent for a year. And what are the two things they're doing? They're they have a strong why and they have a strong belief. And the reason I tell you your belief is so strong, because a lot of times you will find your two to three good leaders through your challenge groups. And the reason why these challenge groups are so successful is because the leaders that have the belief believe in the products, all right? Because our products work. It's fact. If you're doing a beach body program every single day and you're drinking your Shakeology, which has not only changed my life with getting me off meds and losing weight, but it's changed hundreds, probably thousands of lives throughout Team Perseverance, the programs in Shakeology, and the glue to both of them guys is you, the coach. So through our challenge groups and you being the support system, the coach, the motivator, the person that inspires, and you do not need to be your after photo for somebody to relate and be inspired by you. 
Because if you are somebody that connects with your challenger, meaning you were where they were, they can trust in you and they believe in you. Okay? So when you have strong belief in the products by you yourself being a product of the product, right? Then in fact, you will be able to be that person that no matter what will get to the top of the escalator and be consistent because you'll have a strong why and you have strong belief. The belief in the products and what we have. When you have those two things combined, you're unstoppable and you'll be consistent and you'll find your two to three good leaders most likely through your, <clears throat> through your challenge groups. Now, how do we get people into our challenge groups? All right. We get people into our challenge groups by following the four vital behaviors. All right. You want to write that down and our four vital behaviors, which you will learn more in coach basics. And I'm not going to get too deep into them. They, the first one is invite, invite, invite. That's inviting people to our challenge groups. The second is being a proof the product works, being a product of the product. Okay, so that's you yourself sharing your story or being in a program and being in your own journey. Okay, the third is personal development. This is so important. Guys, let me tell you right now that the coach you are and the person you are right now is not going to get you to the coach you want to be tomorrow. You have to be willing to. Fuel your mind with ways to understand how successful people think because successful people think much differently, even if you don't know it, the way unsuccessful people think. And the vast majority of people are thinking every single day based on what they read and see in the news every single day. And if that's what you're using to fuel your mind, you think the world is ending and it's going to cave in and we're going to be in a complete war tomorrow. And unfortunately, that's what most people fuel your mind with. And those, I can tell you right now, people that are very successful in this business and people that are very successful in life do not get sucked in to areas that are going to have their mind think negative thoughts and negative feelings, all right? So you have to be doing um, personal development. Quick side note, my favorite author is John Maxwell. I read probably every one of his books to the point where my eight year, my nine-year-old now reads John Maxwell books, okay, on leadership. So I highly recommend personal development is the third vital behavior. And the fourth, guys, is recognition. There's nothing better than feeling recognized for your efforts and your work. And that starts with your challengers, right, in your challenge groups, recognizing if they had a win for the day, recognizing they lost some weight, sharing something that they did on their own social, on your own social media, okay? So the vital behaviors is very important. So next, guys, that I'm getting into, and I'm just glancing down at my notes, um, is that now that I gave you the big picture mindset, right, and that you really need two to three good leaders for your business really to take off, like income-wise, and where do we find these two to good three leaders? Well, it starts with being consistent ourselves, right? And then if we're consistent ourselves, how do we stay consistent? You have to have a strong why, and you have to have strong belief, right? And when you have strong belief in the products, you will find your two to three good leaders probably through your challenge groups. And how do you get people in your challenge groups? By the four vital behaviors, all right? Which leads me into kind of part two of this call. There are five skills, five skills that I feel you absolutely must possess, must learn how to do, must be willing to do, meaning being coachable, and teachable, being willing to try something new and understanding things. There's five skills I think are super important. And the first one, guys, is sharing your journey on social media, okay? You have to be in some sort of journey. You don't need to be perfect. We're not models of Women's Health Magazine or Men's Health, but you need to be in some sort of journey. And I can tell you right now, there's coaches in this business that need to lose 100 plus pounds and are blowing the business up because they, in fact, connect with other people that are losing 100 plus pounds, you know? Or there's people that are in great shape that are still on a journey trying to maybe add some more muscle mass or tone up. Whatever it is, you have to be on a journey. And you have to be able to share your struggle on social media, because we all struggle, we're human beings. If you're not struggling and you're coming across robotic, you're not real, right? But the key is, is not just to share your struggle on social media, but write this down. The key is to also share 
how you are going to get through it. You know, like, uh, you know, I'm working out every day. I'm going to this birthday party. It's going to be real tough for me, but this is how I'm going to overcome it because that's what people will want to find out. That's when your content, your sharing on social media will be very valuable to people. All right. So the first skill is sharing on social media. The second is adding people to your network. The people right now, your friends and family, I could tell you right off the bat, there's two, two problems. Number one is your friends and family, close friends and family are not going to build this business for you. Meaning if you're relying on them to build this to a six figure and beyond business, it will never happen. And second is our friends and family guys, our closest people to us, a little secret, they are usually our harshest critics. Okay. They are usually, usually the ones that are going to give us the most crap telling you what you do doesn't work and telling you that is, you know, at home workouts don't work. Guys, let me share with you that you're looking at Kristen and I, and I know Joan Cruz is on here. Maria Peterson are all successful coaches. Joan's on her way to diamond. Maria has, is a diamond, right? And Kristen and I have created a substantial six figure income from this business. It works. So don't let your critics stop you, okay? Don't let your critics stop you. So you need to add people to your network, all right? How are you doing that? You want to expand, whether it's through Instagram. I did a great call on Instagram last night. Whether it's through Facebook and adding new friends every day, a couple of friends a day, going to one of your friends' pages and looking at their friends and finding a couple people that you're not friends with, but you guys have mutual friends in common. Send them some friend requests every day. You start expanding your network because you don't want to be posting on social media to the same hundred people you're friends with. Okay. Right now I can tell you a lot of coaches on our team are doing this 20 and five thing. We're sending 20 new friend requests out a day and five new messages to these people. Just hello, introducing ourselves. So you have to be adding people to your network. Number three, guys, you have to be inviting people to be part of your journey meaning inviting people to be in our challenge groups, all right? And you need to get over the fear of inviting, all right? You need to get out of your head and go to your heart, all right? Meaning this is, you know, recently Kristen read a book and there's something I, I, I've read about called the spotlight effect. It's the five-second rule, right? And Kristen read a book about this. And basically what it comes down to is if you think that you should invite somebody to a challenge group, don't give your – within five, sec five seconds, send the invite out. Because once you wait more than five seconds, your brain – and this is scientific, this is science – immediately in your frontal cortex of your brain puts the spotlight on the reasons why you shouldn't do something. Oh, my God, they're going to say no. Oh, my God, they're not going to answer me. Oh, my God, I can't invite this person. What happens if they say this? Oh, my God, they're going to think of me this way. And immediately it gets bigger and bigger in your head, and next thing you know, you don't do it out of fear. So in five seconds, you want to send the invite out, all right? And guys, your invites to your challenge group, they can be very informal. They do not need to be, I'm running a 30-day fitness challenge group with my team. Would you like to be in my group? Instead, what if you said something like, you wouldn't be interested in doing one of my 30-day challenges, would you? And write that down, guys. That's a nice invite. You wouldn't be interested in doing one of my 30-day challenges, would you? Or my favorite is, have you ever considered joining one of my 30-day fitness challenge groups? Have you ever considered joining one of my 30-day fitness challenge groups? And I say that, guys, in a way because if you're posting on social media what you're doing and you're sharing your journey, when you say to them, have you ever considered doing it, you're basically saying it as if you should have saw my post already about it. You see what I'm doing. And a lot of times they may say, I have thought about it. Or they may say, no, I haven't. What is it? Tell me more. Or they may say, I have it. I'm not interested. But whatever. But you do spark conversation with that. And that's why I like that one. Okay? The key then is, is obviously, as you're going to learn in coach training, once you invite them is to find out their goals, find out where they're struggling, build a relationship with them, right? And then we plug them into being part of our challenge group as a solution. All right, so that's number three. Number four, guys, is, is giving people an amazing experience in the challenge group. If you give people an amazing experience in the challenge group, 
and you love on them and you help them get results, it is proven the natural process of this will occur. All right? In 30 days, they're going to lose weight. They're going to feel better. They're going to get results. Right? And they are naturally going to be talking about it more. Because when you're losing weight and you're feeling better in your clothes, your confidence is up, your stress level is down, and you're just talking about what you're doing. It's very natural. It happens automatically. And at the same time, most often people will recognize two things. One is they probably lost some weight. Or two is you've been very happy lately and what are you doing? Or it looks like you lost some weight. What are you doing? It's a natural process. It happens every time. So if you are giving them an awesome experience in the challenge group, and you're supporting them, and you're building a relationship with them, and you're, you know, you're motivating and inspiring them, and you're in the challenge group, the natural process is people are going to talk to ask them what they're doing, and their people, they're going to naturally be talking about it, which leads them to, which leads to the, the best thing is that at the end of the challenge group, we invite our people to be coaches on our team, and that's ultimately what we want. We want people to be able to join our team to pay it forward as you are here to pay it forward, because when you get challengers, and then you sponsor coaches, your rank's going to go up and so is your income. And, the, and you're going to be impacting even more lives because your challenger may become a coach who invites two other people. And if it wasn't for you that started that, they wouldn't be able to help those two other people. Like the feeling I know that our team is 1,800 coaches and we have touched thousands and thousands of lives back when I started and my coach quit and I never gave up. And now the snowball effect of even meeting some of you on here tonight, that's what I live for, guys. I live for the impact of what it's done for your life and the people you want to help. It's an amazing feeling, but it starts with the challenge group and what you're doing right in that group, all right? And the fifth skill, guys, the fifth skill is introducing the coaching opportunity to the challengers. You have to learn how to do it. But don't worry because in the beginning – my motto in Team Perseverance is no coach left behind. So you're never going to basically do the um, – you're never going to be able – you're never going to have to worry about sending or making an exit video. At the end of the challenge groups right now, I know for myself, I know for Kristen, we post a video and we basically explain to the, the, the challenges their options. So early on, you just need to plug them into the video that's there for our team already, Right? That's it. You plug them into our team video, and then also we even have scripts that are on our coaches page that you send your people as follow-ups, explaining exactly the invite to be a child to be a coach. So that's the fifth skill. But don't worry about it. You're going to learn about it as you go. So again, guys, the five skills is sharing your journey on social media, adding people to your network, adding people to be part of your journey. Okay. Number four, giving people amazing experience in their challenge groups. And number five, introducing coaches um, to the opportunity to be um, coaches on our team. Introducing challengers to be coaches on our team. So those are the five skills, and that's like the big picture mindset. Does that make sense for everybody so far? Totally understand? Yes? So, guys, with that, I want to – you know, kind of wrap up in a couple of minutes and go over some last minute, like administrative things that throughout this process. So number one, what do you do from here? You want to get into coach basics training and team perseverance. We start one the first Monday of every month. There are easy, simple assignments that run every day, seven days a week. And they actually only end up going about 22 or 23 days. I forget because we're constantly tweaking it. All right. That's going to teach you now that you have the mindset, you know the skills you want, you know you want to get challengers and give them a great process. Now you're going to learn how to do all this stuff, okay? So you want to be able to get in Coach Basics. You want to plug in our team calls. Every Monday night at 8.30 p.m., Team Perseverance, we have a team call. Last night we had a phenomenal call that I shared with everybody on Instagram training, building your business with Instagram. Now, when you sign up to be a coach, there's a new system that's recently started called the First 30. And the first 30 basically says what you should be doing in the first 30 minutes, the first 30 hours, and the first 30 days. The first 30 days basically is getting in a coach basics group, right? The first 30 minutes is in the welcome email you got. You get the first 30, um, you get a video that I will play for you guys on here to watch, and then we're going to wrap up. It's short. 
And then within that video explains exactly um, what you're going to do in the first 30 minutes. And that's basically a, a quick start guide that you want to go over with your coach um, that you spot that sponsored you to come on board as a coach. All right. So let me find this video. Um, give me one second to pull it up. Um, All right, guys, I'm going to share my screen, and we're going to play this video. Hi, I'm Jeff Hill, and I'm so excited to welcome you to the Team Beachbody family. Congratulations on deciding to become a coach. With that decision, you're now part of a movement focused on helping people get results with Beachbody's proven fitness and nutrition products and our incredible support system. That's what you'll do as a coach. Help people achieve their goals and live a healthy and fulfilling life. You're probably wondering how you're going to do that. Well, in the coming days and weeks, you'll learn new skills and gain new experiences that will help you connect with people and start the process of helping them reach their goals. That's the core of our business. As you start to learn and use these skills, you'll also have an opportunity to build a rewarding business. But let me be clear, just like in achieving health and fitness results, there's no magic potion that will help you achieve great business results. It's not complicated, but it does take consistent effort. And as you continue to grow and improve as a coach in helping people, the rewards are likely to follow. So let me help you get started. We've worked with our most successful coaches to create what we call the first 30, which breaks down what you need to do in your first 30 minutes, your first 30 hours, and your first 30 days as a new coach to be on the road to success. In your first 30 minutes, you need to set up your coach business, and this video will show you how. In your first 30 hours, you'll complete the business quick start guide and set up a get started right call with your sponsoring coach. And in your first 30 days, you'll complete a coach basics training program with your sponsoring coach. Pretty basic stuff to get you started right. So let's get to the first step of setting up your business. The rest of this video will walk you through step by step on how to do this. It will take about 15 minutes to watch this video and then complete the steps. So let's get started. As a new coach, you'll want to complete the first 30 business quick start guide within 30 hours of enrollment. A link to download a copy of it was included in your welcome email from us. If you haven't downloaded this yet, please press pause on the video now and do so. If you have downloaded it, continue on. There are three steps to completing the guide. Step one is to make sure you know your coach ID and your support team. Your coach ID is a unique identifying number for your business and you'll use it often. Your support team is your sponsoring coach and other experienced coaches on your team who are there to help and support you. You can find the name and email of your coach sponsor in your new coach welcome email. Just take a minute to record both your coach ID as well as the contact information of your coach sponsor. Step two is where we set up your coaching profile and get your business website links. This step is extremely important because you refer people to these websites to get information about Beachbody, as well as to enroll as a customer or coach and purchase products. These websites connect those people to your business and generates your commissions. As we go through these steps, you'll probably want to pause the video to perform a step and then play the video again to get to the next step. We'll start with setting up your coach profile. Go to teambeachbody.com and click on sign in. Next, enter the email and password you created for your account when you enroll to log in. Now select the startup wizard at the top of the page. A window will appear on the right side of the screen and walk you through the process of completing your coach profile. If there's a step you aren't ready to complete or you have questions about, you can skip it and return to complete it at a later time. So press pause now and complete the steps in the startup wizard. Your business has two websites. One is designed to promote Shakeology, and one is your coaching website. These websites come ready for you to use by default, but also allow you to customize them if you want. 
To get the URLs for your websites, first select the Coach tab, then scroll down and select the Coach Online Office. From here, select My Websites and then choose one of your websites. On the next page, in the top right corner, you'll find the website's URL. Copy this URL and remember to use it as you share Beachbody with others. You'll repeat this process to get the links for each of your websites. This will ensure that their purchases and enrollments are correctly connected to your business. Notice that you can customize your websites anywhere you see a red edit button. You can also use the page setup tab to add links to your social media pages, to register it on Google so it can be found through search engines, and to create a lead collector so you can specify the information you want people to include when reaching out to you about Beachbody. The most important thing for now is to make sure you have found and recorded the URLs for your websites. So take a moment now, find them, and save them somewhere you can easily find them again. Step three is to set up a time to meet or have a call with your sponsoring coach. During this call, your coach will take the next step in the First 30 program and will help you create your first 30-day action plan. Send your coach a quick message and let them know that you've watched this video, that you've completed the First 30 Business Quick Start Guide, and that you're ready to meet with them. So there it is, simple steps for the first 30 hours. You've made the decision to become a coach, and these steps, along with what you'll learn from your coach, have been proven to put you in the best position to succeed as a Team Beachbody coach. So don't wait. Act. Get with your coach. Get your action plan created and start building a rewarding business that can change your life. So, guys, the first 30 hours document um, if I was to go to my, this is my back office, the coach online office, the, to get to your coach online office, guys, you basically, you go to teambeachbody.com, you sign in right here, right? You put your email address and password in, just in case you don't know, um, just want to go through it. You click sign in and then you mouse over the word coach and you click on coach online office. If you're on your phone, you actually have to click on the coach tab and then you click on coach online office. Then from here under news and training, right? There's the training button. And if you come to the training button, this is the training for getting started. Okay. Um, so if you click on the getting started training, which you're at right now, you will see the new coach business welcome video that we just watched and here is the business quick start okay for you to go through and 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 certain things that you're going to um has to know this and you learn how to do it so i'm not going to get into the technical stuff because we do hit on some of this in the coach basics training but you do on your own time if you want this is very basic stuff again back office news and training training Get to the Getting Started tab and go through um, these three tabs here, okay? And if you if you really want to get learn a little more, you can go to the Coach Rank. I would not go to the Emerald or, Ru Emerald or Ruby training because you're not there yet. You only focus on getting started and maybe if you want to click on Coach and this is for new coaches, again, this is stuff that the next level stuff, okay? So, but I really wanted to lay the foundation for you guys as a whole of the big picture mindset and what your expectations to be, because I truly believe 80% of this is mindset and 20% is skills, right? So now your next steps is get into coach basics, go in the coach online office and, and, and look at the getting started right stuff and definitely connect with your sponsor. And if you have a sponsor and coach and, you know, this happens that you're more driven and you want to work and build this business and your sponsor and coach isn't as um, into it as you are, no problem. Like you have a team of successful leaders, reach out to your upline diamond or star diamond, where if you go to your coach online office guys on the left hand side there, it's going to list who your sponsor and coach is, who your upline diamond is, your upline star diamond, diamond ranks and higher and star diamond ranks are are people that are taking the business seriously and they absolutely can plug you in and tell you what you need to do next to help you. So don't feel like there's nobody you can speak to. And last but not least, the Coaches of Team Perseverance page. We're constantly, I'm constantly posting stuff in there, updates, news, recognition, and you can always ask questions in there as well. We're here together as a team. All right, guys, so that pretty much wraps up. Are there any questions about anything?
Um, was this helpful for you guys? Yes, yes. Good. So any questions, anybody? If there is, unmute your line. Anybody? Melissa, Maria, Stephanie, Amber, Alyssa, anybody? Hope. Everybody's good. Jamie, very helpful. All right, guys. If there's no questions, then you know um, what you need to do from here. Welcome to the team again. Thank you guys for joining Team Perseverance, you know, as your large, you know, grandparent big team. And I can tell you guys, you're sitting on a golden opportunity. You and you alone determine your success. Nobody else. If you want this, go after it and get it. Have a great night, guys. And I'll, and I'll talk to you guys soon. You're welcome. Bye-bye.